cold, blustery, windy day in Fort Pickens. Uh, hey, I got a story to tell you. Vacations on the road don't always turn out the way you'd like them to. Uh, this trip started out pretty badly, so I had a number of things go wrong with the RV, but let me tell you about the most stressful one. It all started on the third day out. Uh, yeah, we were planning on staying the night at the Cracker Barrel, uh, but there's a Walmart next door, so we decided to go over and resupply there. Uh, but when we came back to the RV, hmm, I noticed this wet spot in the back of the RV. Kind of looked like, uh, you know, somehow the uh, air conditioner drip water, but this was in the back, so what was it? Quick sniff, it was nasty. Yeah, water was dripping from the black tank. My first thought was, oh great, what now? <laughs> we just started our trip. We got 5,000 miles to go yet. Back into uh, Walmart to see where I can find something. I don't know, maybe they got a big diaper or something I can put around it. Uh, anyway, so we went in there and looked around. I did find this uh, four inch wide black flex tape. It's supposed to be waterproof and tough and rugged. So I said, well, maybe that'll uh, seal it all up. I didn't have high hopes for it, but hey, gotta try something. So I got that, some disposable gloves, and a yoga pad. Uh, not to do yoga, but to lay on underneath the RV. So I laid on my back and uh, tried to wrap that tape up around there. It was kind of a, a nasty kind of wet mess, so I didn't know if it was really going to hold that well, but had to try something. And actually, it did stop leaking for a while, so okay, uh, off the crackle barrel for supper, and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. But of course, I had to get a basin and put it under it just in case it dripped. I don't want to drip that stuff in Cracker Barrel parking lot. So anyway, next morning it was fine. There was nothing in the basins. Now it was time to find a more permanent solution. So I looked on the Facebook group and yeah, other people have had these problems with the couplings also. After five years, you start to run into a chance of it cracking and, and leaking. And my RV is eight years old. So yeah, I guess that was on borrowed time. So even though we didn't have a lot of stuff in the tanks, we just started the trip. But anyway, I headed off to Fort Stockton. They had an RV park there. Yeah, it was kind of old, dilapidated park, but for 25 bucks, I had a full hookup. So we went there and dumped out the rest of the water. While we were there, I did a little research and found out, yeah, okay, these things do crack. And uh, maybe it's the vibration of the coach, I don't really know. But uh, I thought they'd last the life of the RV, but I guess not. Um, anyway, I ordered a uh, new replacement part, had it shipped to my sister-in-law's because we were going to be there in two days. So figured ah, I'll fix it there, not on the road. However, when we got there, huh, I found out that, yeah, in order to change the black water coupling on my J model, you also have to change the, or at least loosen up the, uh, the gray water coupling. And that one was starting to leak also. So I was like, okay, fine. Um, the, uh, the black tape I had wasn't really working, so I ripped that all off. And my brother-in-law had some flex spray, uh, flex seal spray. And I sprayed that on it, but uh, yeah, I didn't have high hopes for that because son of a gun, the stuff is pretty thin and watery. But anyway, I sprayed around all the nooks and crannies and you know, hopefully the best, put a couple of coats on it. But uh, yeah, I think that was temporary at best. So it was kind of obvious that I had to replace both couplings. I ordered another coupling, had it sent to my dad's house in Florida, and off we went. Uh, we got there, sure enough, had to change both couplings because uh, they were both leaking pretty badly by that time. So my basin was getting a lot of use. But anyway, my son was there, he helped me, and gee, it only took probably half an hour to change him. But it's kind of a nasty, 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 disgusting job. But uh, anyway, we're all good now. I got those couplings on. Um, I didn't film any of this because I didn't want to be working on that and then also working the camera control. So. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but it's really hard to get in there and get the fittings. There isn't much room to work with, but uh, it worked out okay. So, um, yeah, now we're back on the road. So, <laughs> anyway, now I got some other problems, but uh, I'll tell you about those later once we get home. This is Grandpa Ron wishing you success on your trips, and I'll see you on the road.